YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel, and, uh, well, and today I am going to be reviewing the second Doctor Who 60th anniversary special, The Wide Blue Yonder, <gasps> which is basically summing it all up, getting a potato masher and mashing my heart with it, because that is basically this episode. This episode was scary, terrifying, and I fully understand why Russell T Davis that this one may or may not be suitable for children under nine. Fully get that. It was brilliant because it just focused on Doctor, the 14th Doctor is played by David Tennant, and Catherine Tate's Donna Noble, sometimes the Doctor Donna. There were so many little hints and niblets in this one, and what is nothing, this is where the Doctor and Donna accidentally, because of the coffee that has been spilt on the TARDIS, not tea, note that change, um, and we land in the middle of a spaceship right on the edge of the universe, and apparently we haven't got the mathematics yet in 21st century Earth to understand this. And the nothings. Oh, wasn't that Captain so brave? So, so brave. Spoiler warning going forward. Spoiler warning going forward. Loving the fact that it's linked the Timeless Child and the Chris Chibnall era in with the flux being mentioned. Oh, that scene. I was just in a pieces. Absolute pieces. Because we had the, the spoken truth, which is the Doctor's now. Moving swiftly on from that sad note to another soul-crushing event. There was just a whole line of soul-crushing events leading up to the big soul-crushing event, which we will get to. So we had them copying and not thinking, and that is like torture for the Doctor to not think and to not plan. Oh, it was funny and it was great and it was wonderful to see how well the Doctor and Donna know each other so well, but those centimetres, man, those centimetres, five out of five, I'm putting that out there, five out of five for this episode, it's brilliant, but it is one that I will be re-watching and re-watching forever and ever and ever, because of the way this episode is structured, it is a re-watch loop, it is perfection, sometimes the Doctor is given a lot of companions, like the poor 13th Doctor, Jodie Whittaker. Her TARDIS was stuffed, very much like the 5th Doctor, um, Peter Davison, where he had Adric and Turlow and Chameleon and Tegan and Nyssa and the whole thing, and the whole thing was crammed. 13th Doctor had Graham and Ryan and Yaz, and it just felt too much. Whereas this was stripped back, there was that lovely robot, and we had the countdown, and you just had to run but you also had to contain yourself and you also had to know your companion really well. So we got some really meaty discussion bits. I'm loving the awkward um, conversation at the end. I'm loving that because you know that Donna Noble knows with her Dr. Donna mind, she knows. So she's giving the doctor the opportunity to tell her without her having to make more references to it later on. Oh, so crushing, so crushing. Oh, one more people we are two thirds through there's only one more of the 14th doctor it is just gonna be <laughs> we haven't even got to the celestial toy maker yet yeah i i will be weeping in a corner oh and to cap it all off we saw bernard oh good old wilf oh it's just soul crushing more soul crushing Let's just get the potato masher and whack our hearts with it. I mean, it's easier than watching Doctor Who at the moment. So, yeah, five out of five. This episode was beautiful. Good comedy, good terror, really traditional sci science fiction, which has really been missing, actually, in science fiction, which, because of all the... Um, let's. I'm going to do a science fiction western, and then I'm going to put father christmas in it and then we're going to have a flying dinosaur with wings and it's going to be a butterfly and you're just like what this was traditional science fiction and the tardis was so afraid it ran away the poor thing well it's also upset because it's got coffee on its new console thank you disney money for the console i know people have been complaining about how sterile and clean it looks i'm not you're just used to dirty sci-fi that's like the original Star Wars trilogy and Alien, because they make it grubby to make it feel lived in, to make it real. Less Star Trek. The Doctor Who console 
within the TARDIS is a reflection of the classic era because remember that these three specials are actually celebrating the 60th anniversary which is why they've had to tie in Chris Tribnell's run with the timeless child and they've done that so beautifully in the wild blue yonder I'm not getting into the debate whether children should be singing the wild blue yonder because it's about war it's not jolly thank you Mrs Bean oh it's yeah hopefully she's married to Mr Bean Rowan Atkinson, it's just face and palm, face and palm, but we never actually saw that, but it's implied. Five out of five, I love this episode so, so much. It is soul destroying and I'm just going to continue beating my heart with the potato masher because that would be easier. We've only got one episode left of the Doctor Donna or Donna Noble and the 14th Doctor as played by David Tennant. I'm loving the fact that even in this episode he stopped, he didn't rush off, he sat in that captain's chair and did some, I'm going to sit and think and make a plan before doing anything. So we've seen that this is the 14th Doctor. He's giddy, he's excited, he wants to go on those running adventures but actually the maturity is coming through so we love that. Five out of five for me. Oh, I'm just in bits. Total bits. Bernard. Oh, it's too sad. Yeah, anyway, moving swiftly on from Wilf, which was the extra cherry on the top, just to crush your heart some more. Oh, it wasn't Donna's terror when it was blowing up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is a children's show. Children's are just weep in the corner. We loved it. It was great. Five out of five. Roll on the Celestial toy maker. I mean, what more could happen? Bring back the Meep. The Meep was lovely. He did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's basically it for Doc 2. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please like, comment and subscribe and let me know um, what you think about um, the Wild Blue Yonder episode in the comments below. And um, please try not to cry. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>